Hey there, welcome to an episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. I'm Eric. And I'm Josh. Today we're going to draw a water drop. Why? I don't know. I get a lot of questions on how I draw water drops, so we're going to do that. It's a very multifaceted tool. <laughs> you can use this for other things, right? I suppose. Like, like, it doesn't have to be a water drop on a leaf. It could be a water drop on a surface. Table. Like a Microsoft Surface? A Microsoft Surface or a table. <laughs> But that's, that's the extent of where you can use the water drops. Okay, well, <laughs> let's just focus on one water drop on a leaf for now. So what I've done is here, I've drawn kind of like a little bean shape, just with a that like a dark a green bean. color. Yeah, a little bean. Uh, yeah. You can, I mean, just try not to make your, your water drop like a, a literal circle. Give it a little bit of asymmetry to it. Um, for now, I'm going to just stick with a little bean shape here. And I just chose a dark color that I already had existing in the leaf. So with our little bean shape here, we have to imagine that uh, our lighting source is coming from this direction, which means the light's going to hit the bean and cast a little reflection, but it's also going to pass through the bean and uh, it's going to make a little light spot on the back. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate what that's like. So the first thing I want to do here is I do want to <clears throat> create a shadow in the bean itself, which is going to be the reflection shadow. So I'm going to kind of lightly hit this side up. Just a little bit. So it's the shadow of the reflection of it, the it's the bean. It's either reflected material inside the bean, or it is going to be the um, the shadow that the skin of the water tension is creating along the bean. But basically... But the water tension. Yeah. You're going to just shade that hmm. side as if it was a sphere that you can see through. Just using Neat. the same uh, shading techniques that you would do for tell, pretty much Tell anything. me more about the surface tension of water. Is it high? It's a pretty tense <laughs> it's a pretty tense tension. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is on the opposite side of the shadow area, we're gonna add the highlight. That should be your strongest highlight. So we're gonna just take a little white from the background here and cause a little bit of white on that side. And I'm just hitting it really hard in the center and spreading it out a little bit. So I, this is green. You're, you're making a green drop. I know, because this right here, the line art, that's actually going to be a different color. I just need you to be able to see it for now. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So on this opposite side, I'm going to take a lighter color green. I'm going to go about right here and then hit but, the back side of it. But the shadows are still green. And, and you're making the highlight now in green, the backlight. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. You'll see. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So now I have those two light sources. I have the one that's direct and the one that's reflected. And uh, so we're going to go back to the line art for the bean. Uh oh. And then I'm going to just create a new clipping mask over it. And I'm going to use that lighter color and I'm going to just <laughs> erase it a little bit along the edges and then go around this side and make that side white. And you're going to have to play with it a little bit because. Um, <clears throat> It, it's it's like up to you what it's going to look like, basically. Oh, wait. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now it kind of looks like a drop. <laughs> no, you just transformed it in front of my eyes. <laughs> it's that tension, man. <laughs> so now I'm just kind of smoothing all the colors together. Mm. Right. Now, the, okay. the bean itself is now all on one layer. Uh, but it needs to have... It's going to cast its own shadow. So I'm going to go underneath it. And I'm going to just kind of hit a little bit of a shadow here. And what I like to do is, since light is passing through the bean, uh, is I'm going to take a light green color, and I'm going to take a little bit of that um, light green, and actually the light's oh. going to go through the bean and into the shadow. You see that? Okay. Yeah. I do see it. Yeah. And then, of course, you can... Oops, let me get above this thing again. You can add little reflection points all over the bean. just depends on how sparkly you want it. But that's essentially it. You can get really fancy with water drops, but if you were to zoom out on this one, you know, if it's really way back out there, and I did make it kind of a weird shape, but uh, mm -hmm. that's that's pretty much how I would draw a water drop. And of course, if it were more focal, I would hit it with like a little harder edge brush and really bring out some of the uh, sparkles in it. All right, zoom out again. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that looks like. <gasps> it's magic. <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Um, that's a quick and dirty water bean, water bean tutorial. <laughs> don't don't eat dirty beans, everyone. 
what but what about dirty beans and rice oh that's a thing isn't it it sure is <laughs> everyone eat dirty beans and thank you for joining us <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you on the next tutorial take care smell you later <laughs>